come over here and grab the uh, mini whack-a-mole, the little uh, persuasion stick. And I know some people are gonna cringe because I just set the uh, third member down like that, but it's my spare. It's not the one I'm using. Damn union workers. Can't get away from them. everybody we are back from that cheese and working on the truck again so what I'm doing right now is I'm getting all the measurements and everything ready to weld the u-bolt eliminator brackets on and I have to grind them out because of the backbone truss so I was able to get this plate to sit a lot better I moved some washers around so it would kick the back end of the springs in and now from this point to the point over there to the back point to there they are perfectly even and I have these all welded up I just have to throw the uh, little ramps on on there I've also got my new fancy tools to make this job a little bit easier all on Amazon so I got this guy it's just a angle finder it's got a magnetic base and then I got these guys which come in a two-pack from Amazon as well the way this works basically you can just mold around the side you want lock it down and it keeps the shape so basically you can set it down on something trace it out move it and then cut it and then you can form fit right around. And if anybody's uh, wondering, the Quadzilla is my brother's. Um, so don't mind it in the background. The 400 is in the other container. But on that note, let's go ahead, get this third member pulled out, get the measurements, and let's get rolling. I've marked my spot. You can barely see it. Basically, we're going to be going right around this. It's got these uh, dual locks on each side. And that's basically the shape that we're gonna need to fit around the housing. All right, so I got my angle or fitting for the inside and outside of one perch and I have them transferred over to here so basically I got to cut this section off and grind back just a little bit around here probably have to do a little bit more but let's go ahead and get that ground down All right, so I got Coda helping me out. I had her grind all this. She did a pretty good job, but we'll have to see if it fits. And uh, apparently it's union break time. So let's go ahead and get this off of here and uh, see how it fits. It's looking pretty good though. I will say that. I have to take a little bit more off the back, but let's see. So it wants to land right there. That's looking good, but pretty sure that's way too steep of a pinion angle. So we'll have to cut more off. But for a first shot, in all reality, this tool, this tool does pretty good. I definitely recommend that. And it's just off Amazon, it is nothing fancy at all. I think it's like a 
$20 set. It just comes with the, I think it's a 10 inch and a six inch. I don't know, something like that. This comes with a smaller one and a bigger one. And then this angle finder is what we're gonna be using next to figure out the actual pinion angle that we need. So I just wanted to get these kind of set up in a way so we can wrap these around and actually put this up underneath the truck because right now what's happening is let's go to this side is i'm pushing it up and it's hitting these two points right here so i can't actually rest the axle on there and get it to sit straight every you know every single way so i can get a good pinion angle all right so i got both perches cut out they're not perfect but if we get, grab the old doodad this one is at 30 and I can move it a little bit. This one is at 28.65. And these I can still move ever so slightly back and forth. And then coming to the housing, it is at 44. So I'm within a 20 degree difference. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and bolt these U-bolt eliminators back up on the truck, bring the housing out and shove it up in there and kind of see where we sit uh, to make sure everything's good. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do my pinion angle itself. So let's go ahead and get that under there. All right, well, got them bolted up. So now let's go ahead and uh, get the axle out here. Damn union workers. Can't get away from them. I'm trying to eat the camera. Nope, just wants to sit down. Yeah, I don't exactly have a proper stand, so I just kind of use whatever I have, but apparently I'm using your chair, huh? Yep, union workers. All right, well, this thing is fitting a lot nicer, so it's not exactly perfect. I still gotta tap this thing kind of forward, left, right, you know, around. This side's fitting real good. And that pinion angle might be a little steep, so we'll go ahead and rotate all that. But that's looking pretty good so far. So I'm gonna check the angle on that. Like I said, I almost guarantee that's uh, too much, but we'll see where we're at. All right, well, she is uh, off the jack stands on her own weight, not far off the jack stands, but enough where the suspension is actually moving. So at ride height, my shackle angle is pretty much what I'm wanting it to be. That's pretty much where it was last time, kicked back just enough. So now let's check the pinion angle and let's see if I'm good enough to get it on the first try. So I'll have to put the third member in and thankfully it's kind of, it's a low pinion so it might be just about right. And I know some people are gonna cringe because I just set the uh, third member down like that, but it's my spare. It's not the one I'm using. If I ever need to use it, I'll make sure to clean it. It's not fully seated, but it will get me in the ballpark. Now I gotta climb on out of here and uh, 
kind of take a look at this and see where we are. I'm gonna have to grab a long stick and figure it out, but the pinion is sitting right here and the transfer case end is right up there. So let's see if I have anything long enough. And you know I do. I do have something long enough that might just barely reach. The old drive line. I knew I shouldn't have thrown this away yet. I knew I needed this bent thing one last time. So let's see if this will work. It's in there. So now let's take a look and see. That's, that's pretty straight right there, honestly. That actually ain't that bad. So now let me get the degree finder. All right, let's see where we sit. So right here. Um, it's not really a good spot to put this. So we are at 18.82 and right here we are at 18.03. I'm going to be honest, that's pretty good. Well, got the uh, brackets cut, check and pinion angle. I'm going to be doing a double car and joint. So I think everything uh, for the most part lined up perfectly the first shot. You know, those are, those are fitting nice. We'll come over here and grab the uh, mini whack-a-mole. The little uh, persuasion stick. Uh, just give her a little tap and see where she wants to land. All right, so I have done as much measuring as I can possibly do. And we are at six and a quarter on this side. And we are at six and a quarter on this side. That is as much measuring as I am possibly willing to do. I have gone back and forth for probably the last 20 minutes, making sure that this thing is as lined up as it can possibly be, because I do not want to be cutting a bunch of welds back off. So we are going to grab the welder, bring it out here, and throw some tacks on this bad boy. And then we are going to flex this thing out and kind of see what it does. Got a few uh, beefier tacks. Didn't want to weld it all the way around just in case if I had to cut it off for whatever reason. So this is all just for testing purposes, but I also don't want them to uh, break off on me. So let's go ahead and see how this ends up working. Ooh, dropped that down a little too fast. All right, so that side's staying. Ugh. This one's usually the harder one too. Well, there she is in all her glory. Hell yeah. This is uh, pretty much set up. 
I mean, other than the uh, bit of welding and the skid plate, this is uh, this is all starting to look pretty good. I do still have to get an SYE kit. I still have to get all the brake parts. So Rough Stuff sells a whole uh, disc brake version kit for the nine inch. So I'm gonna be getting those. They weld on, um, I believe right here on the end on the inside of the cup. And there is many, many more parts to come. But you know, with time comes money and with money comes more parts. So for this video, that's pretty much gonna be it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and as always, stay off road.